Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today was a bit pretty big day. Uh, we just finished recording our part one of the reboot thingy, so all the class changes. Uh, so we went over the Succession Dark Knight, talked about the changes. Check out that video if you haven't already. But we're going to take a little bit of a break from that and start up our new season character. Um, so we just made it. We're going to play Guardian again because Guardians are stupid and uh, easy to play. Five buttons, easy. So, going to see how fast we can power through some of the things again. Uh, winter season started. Don't really have any goals for it. Hopefully they changed it from last time. But yeah, new season started today. Let's uh, pretend and role play as a beginner. This is our first time playing. Let's ignore my other characters. Just look at this one. I'm going to see what it's like playing our third guardian. I meant first guardian. But anyway, we're going to skip all the cutscenes and all that stuff. But anyway, it is always actually pretty cool. Every time there's a new season, I get to see what it's like as a new player. Obviously, there are a little bit of benefits of for me playing this. As in, like, I still get to keep all my energy and CP, just the knowledge of this game in general. But yeah, seeing how all this works as a new player is pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Right. Mind me, boys, we're just gonna spam through all of this. gray foxes you know it's always been weird to me how like this start you off with all these skills even though you can't use them yet my knowledge of guardian is not that much actually to be honest I I have a 60 guardian That was it. Maybe this time we'll get to 61. <laughs> I could have sworn we got to 61 on our other Guardian. Oh yeah, we did. Or then, then we'd level transferred it. Either way, it's not a big deal. What in the world? What is this? Season? December 22 today to March 2. Oh boy. But yeah, this is like, I don't know. If you are a new player, this is not going to be as smooth as it is for you. Because first of all, there's like a million settings. When I first started this game, you can actually watch my old videos as well. All these settings are just like, you have to, you're going to spend the first hour and a half messing with all your settings. The first thing you do once you log in. Talk to Eden. It was actually pretty difficult for me because I wasn't sure what um, what I wanted to play for this season, and it was either between Warrior, Guardian, another Nova, well, any class that I chose would be another, but this one, Nova, Warrior, Guardian, another DK for some reason. Oh. 
Find out more about the large artifact. Cutscenes are loud. They're scary. But yeah, I remember years ago, when we first started, like, you know how we start at Western, or like, start here and go to the Western Guard Camp? Back when I started the game, we all started at Olvia and then had to make our way down, do questing, and make it to Velia, and then that was the difference. do we have left click right mouse button down F Down right mouse. Yeet. But yeah, the one thing I hope they change in the future is a lot of the settings by default and your display effects and all that stuff. Make sure to mess with those settings, otherwise you're going to see a lot of garbage on your screen. And you're just going to be so confused. So, which one is better these days, Awaken or Succession, or Guardian? Is this still Awaken? Let's see, what do we get for the season pass this year round? Snowflakes? So they don't give you weapon exchange coupons anymore. Oh wait, what in the world are these? What these rewards are garbage. I think what people are gonna get is the hundred and thirty five stack, which is a really weird number. They should just make it like one fifty or something. I mean that would be nice. Um I guess this is what my prediction of what people are going to get. The 135 stack, for sure. That's like the highest priority. Then maybe the 100 stack, if you need it. And then after that, maybe the Artisan's Blessing for 30 days. Basically, every day you log in, you get an Artisan memory. It's just a nice bonus. Um, the Fruit thingies for Tier 9 attempts. And Capris Bundles. 
everything else seems like just the biggest waste. Dude, where am I going? What is that? I'm gonna start running somewhere. So yeah, this season, uh, as usual, we're probably going to skip all the story and skip to the end, grind my way to 61, reach level 10, 20, 30, open these thingies, get level 61, finish the season pass, play Yar, that is actually a new thing. Um, Never played it before, but I watched some streamers do it. <sighs> um, I'm gonna be honest, this looks really easy to finish. I feel like I could do all of this in like a week. Honestly, if you went hard, you could probably finish all this in a day, but it doesn't look too bad. I think as a veteran player, Seasons is kind of Kind of awful, but if you're a new player, you should definitely do them because there's just a lot of stuff to do. And especially if you're a new player, it helps you catch up and all that stuff to uh, everyone else more or less. So it doesn't feel as bad. New adventures, buff. What? What is that? 24-hour adventure buff. Leveling aid one. Snowflakes and 15 bucks. All right. Good. Do people delete their season characters after the end if you have more characters than you know what to do with? Because this is like literally my third guardian. <laughs> and I have one of everything else so far. Two DKs. I mean, like, you don't delete it. You just... It's kind of an energy battery after the season. You know what's one thing that was kind of sad that I don't know if they're doing on Christmas? You know how one time they had a special night vendor that gave, I don't know, cool stuff? I don't think they're doing that again this year. Like, what it was is you the boxes were like 50 to 100 mil each. And it would give you... Like, pretty good stuff that are useful. The Capra Stones, uh, Grinding Bells, Golden Bells from the Cash Shop. Uh, Cron Stones, Bail Stacks, and whatnot. So those are pretty nice, but I don't think they're going to be doing it again.
more mostly curious to know what the season rewards are. Meet Tiny Nose. I wonder how many people in this game have every tier 9 horse and a tier 10. I'm just mildly curious. Beat 50 enemies near the altar. She aimed this character. Man. Gonna be honest, the only time I've really ever played Guardian was for season. <laughs> Never actually took the time to learn it that well. I'll probably end up buying the battle pass again. It's pretty worth it. The reason why we chose this is just because of the sweeping AoEs, and it literally makes things so fast. And again, so does, uh, like, I thought uh, Witch and Wizard went by pretty quickly as well. Never really had any trouble with those, or really any season, but I, th I just felt like Witch and Wizard went by real quick, just because AoEs. That's an ability we've got to lock. We'll be fighting that in a second. Gear difference. Uh, level 15 environmental change I don't know why that's even a mechanic in that game in this game just like get to a certain level then you can have weather effects <laughs> Whoa, what season rewards are like they're not bad you should probably play season no matter if you're a beginner or not some of the rewards are so wonky
Yeah, there we go. Wait, do they not give challenge rewards this time around? Wizard. No. Didn't even give me it. Talk to someone, then do red nose. Okay. So, one thing that's going to be different for you, assuming this is your first time playing, is enemies have a health bar, right? But you have to get knowledge of that before you could see the health bar. Like, first of all, for example, this one, you see up here how I can see the like how much health it actually has. Um, when you see it, it'll just be like. A solid bar of a color like yellow means it's a uh, pretty healthy health and um, it goes like orange to red ish as it gets weaker and so for you just as a gauge of where you're doing orange is like the darker the color gets all the way to red is like the lower to health it will start out as yellow and then you just work your way down from there Boy Cliff, he arrived after we killed the boss, of course. Maybe one day I'll get 10,000 quests. They actually made a, a new title for people who did like 50,000, 77,000, and 100,000 quests. Uh, man, like, I usually, I don't mind questing in video games, but man, this one for some reason is just something off. I even tried to pay attention to the dialogue the first time. Like, I actually enjoyed Odalita, uh, Kama, and Dregans. But man, like, some of it is hard. I guess it's because, like, translation and, um, how it's not like an American company, it's a Korean one, so their stories are a little bit wonky. But I do my best to try to actually listen to it the first time around. So whenever there's a new zone coming out soon, TM, in about, like, three months, maybe, we'll be going through it, of course, as well. This is the part where you kind of have to pay attention a little bit. So basically, if you're a new player, what happens is the main one is like you go through all the quest line, right? 
Simplified is you skip all the quest line, but then that means you just have to go grind your way from like 17 to 61. Whereas you kinda, if you wanna do the story, you get levels up by playing through the story. This one, you just have to grind it. You're a veteran player. Well, I was curious to actually read it. Simplified. I do like how every game has like the Christmas holiday banners and all the stuff like the decorations. It's pretty sweet. Hello, Fugar. We meet again for like the sixth season in a row. Yep, we have. This is season number six that we were playing. Good stuff, boys. Of course, as usual, we gotta get these all to Tuvala eventually. Get this garbage out of your inventory. You don't need a light. Reach level 20, then talk to the Black Spirit. Got you, fam. First of all, we're going to need a horse. Do we have a tier 8 horse? Level 1. Alright, so let me see. Here is how we do it. We're not going to get like 60 today, but I at least like to get myself to a solid start. Can you use uh, infinite potions on season characters? Probably can. Same with like tier 9s and tier 10s. Uh, I mean, we're role-playing the new player experience, right? So, basically, if you're doing the story, do all the quest lines. Uh, where you started out in Velia is Balanos. And where you're going into Heidel is uh, Serendia territory. And this is the second area you head into. Um, Heidel. I actually, like, I thought Heidel was, or the Serendia questline was pretty good. And then same with, um, next after that you'll go to Calpheon and then... Calpheon is obviously this way, and then Medaya and all that stuff. And then after you finish Medaya is when it technically you can go to Valencia. That's where the story continues. But I have skipped it 
every single season. And we're not doing that again. And then after that was like, I wouldn't say DLC, but it's like the later ones like Kama and then Dregan, Odalita. Could go to Margoria, but there's literally nothing to do there. boys we're like fat stacking buffs uh i'm not using a 300 no i i can't I'm not using a 300 on the season character just yet we'll use it if i get like boosted at trees or something Personally, I stay here until like 30, 30 ish. Keep in mind, I am still using the scuff gear. It is just I use uh, Kron food, which is, if, as a new player, you probably won't be using it. It's not expensive, but it's one of those things you don't really need. It just helps you. They actually changed it today with the reboots. So that's good, I think. Honestly, if you just want to get yourself to like 60 fast, just ask your guildies to leech you at trees and then you get like 61 in a few hours. Or literally just go questing from mid 50s and uh, that's actually faster than leeching at trees questing. But that involves uh, a little bit of a know-how too. Uh, just go watch a video on YouTube with how to quest to 61 in like an hour. safe spot.
All right, let's see. Inventory, more inventory, goodies. Reach level 30. You could stay here till like, uh, 30s-ish. It's not too bad. It's just like if you want to go to faster places, uh, we'll be swapping at 30 to the next location. Yeah, for like one enemy, 3%. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good, actually. If we wanted to get level up faster, we'd play on the season server. What you could do is also go up and uh, kill the mini boss at the top. I don't. It's not really a mini boss. It's just uh, something there. Two percent per kill. That's pretty good. So where we left our horse at the top. We'll just go in here, kill some enemies. And, uh, oh, maybe they changed it, or it just doesn't happen at night. I feel like, I don't know why this is still flashing. It happens every season. I get baited by it every time.
You know what's funny is Naru. Naru gear. It's for beginners. We all know that. But the thing is, new players are going to think, oh, enhancing is so easy. And then they get to boss gear and just like, oh, this is not easy. Get out of here. The place you go from 30 and on is, uh, down here by Bloody Monastery. Technically, it is under 30, but I stayed there to like 40 ish, and then. Wait, where am I? What in the world? Okay, never mind. I know where I am. But yeah, I stayed up to 40-ish and then go to Owls. And then after I go to Owls, I'm probably like 50 at that point. And from 50 and on, you can go to like Soldier's Grave, probably. Oh, my horse died. Rip horse. Unlucky. I knew that was a weird spot to put it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it until you get to 50, and then once you get to 50, that's when all the fun begins. Grind Soldier's Grave to like 56, and then I don't know what else. I like. I honestly don't remember my seasons. I just kind of grind it mindlessly to 61. Four hundred skill points. They really do like feed you bonus stuff so early into the game. I could go to Glish and re revive, but I think that's a this is a good stopping point for episode one, and then we'll continue it in the near future. So I'll see you guys in a bit.